Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for June 13, 2023, the Wells Fargo Under Investigation, again an addition. Federal prosecu- as reported by the New York Times, Emily Flitter reporting, federal prosecutors in New York have opened a criminal investigation into whether Wells Fargo violated federal laws by conducting sham interviews of minority and female job candidates. The investigation is being conducted by members of a newly created civil rights unit within the criminal division of the Manhattan U.S. Attorney's Office. The investigation is in its early stages, but was spurred on by Times report of whistleblower Joe Bruno, who said that the bank uh, was interviewing job applicants to meet a diverse requirement, but that the jobs had already been promised to others, and the sham interviews were a result of the bank's efforts to put on a facade of diversity. Uh, Next up from the Washington Post, the uh, claims that, or rather, uh, a Senate proposal to bring crypto under federal oversight would deliver a win for the crypto industry because it wants the CFTC to regulate it as opposed to the SEC. I'm a little bit confused as to why the uh, crypto industry would want the CFTC because they can be just as robust as the SEC. Nevertheless, they see this as a win. Uh, Next up, uh, from the Wall Street Journal, the SEC is investigating Goldman Sachs over its ESG funds. It's uh, looking at the funds based, or rather aiming to invest in ESG, and it's focusing on Um, whether uh, the clean energy funds really are uh, indeed clean energy. And finally, also in the ESG vein, uh, CFOs have finally gotten on the ESG bandwagon and are uh, recruiting, beefing up their finance team, testing new technologies as they prepare for potential rules from the SEC. Of course, uh, this rule is still in the rulemaking process, but Chief Financial officers are expecting that uh, complying with this rule will require additional resources. Putting these resources in place uh, has been an ongoing effort in the finance industry, and it's going to be interesting to see how CFOs respond uh, to this issue because, of course, at the end of the day, ESG is about a business process, and more importantly, it's about returns, and that means the CFO needs to be involved. So good to see that CFOs are finally awakening and becoming part of the ESG discussion uh, with additional resources, with additional talent, and with additional expertise going forward. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.